I'm on SmackDown Live by accident. Cause we're gonna be put with Win a mid match running. It's not what I wanted to do. I mean that's kind of whack. I didn't really want to come to SmackDown, but now I gotta like almost start over. What's my match running against? It's against it's against Sheamus, I think. Dope. While well, we got people like freaking Bo Dallas getting a WWE title shot. What? Hold up. Bruh. Bro Dallas is the Intercontinental Champion. If he went, I'm done. If Bro Dallas wins, I'm done. Based on the electricity that traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building thus might blow off. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. He goes to the quick pin attempt. And Sheamus powers out. Has a jarring forearm. Sheamus in pretty bad shape here. Tonight may not be his night, guys. Guys, it's a wonder he's even able to stand at this point. If I'm here is your winner, no way out the door, William. You proved tonight that you aren't like the rest of these sheep. You aren't the one to be hunted. You are the one to run. You aren't the one to run. You are here to be recognized as the immortal among men. You are ch here to chase them. I could, I should do my Bray Wyatt impression. You are here to reap them. Bray, chill out. I only beat up, uh, Seamus. Whatever. I didn't open the portal yet. You didn't open the portal yet. Cool. What's up, Triple H? Nice hustle last few weeks. Triple H, hey, I appreciate that. I can tell you were stressed out for a while there, but you took you took off like a bullet. Only did what I had to. That's all we can ever do, huh? Anyways, pretty big mouth. Or month. Over the next weeks we plan on decide planning to decide who's gonna be in the money in the bank match. I look forward to this milestone. You and an army of superstars. I'm telling all the other guys the same thing, and I'm telling you now. Every show this week is crucial in deciding who will be in that match. All right. Uh, here to make the company. Happen. You know as much as I do that I serve the pleasure at the pleasure of the company. We want whoever is the cream of the crop, like the man said. For business, for you, for Vince, I'm willing to rise up. Goes without saying then. Be on top of your game all month long. Understand? I hear you. I won't let you guys down. Alrighty, guys. So I got the choice again to talk to either Shane or Daniel. Like last time, it was either Kurt or uh, was it? No, it was Mick Foley or Stephanie, whoever it was. I'm talking to Daniel Ryan because I actually want to get my fan favorite level up so I can start doing promos and get better at them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's let's do that. What's up, man? Dan, I need some screen time this month. Okay, talk to me. I'd say I'd really deserve it. My performance has been decent lately. I don't know why I said it like that. Can you hook me up? It's not that I can't. But I have concerns that you haven't gotten your consistency down yet. Happy to be proven otherwise, however. My fans will vouch for me. It's really my fans that will vouch for me, Daniel. Is that so? But you don't have to take my word for it. Sure, the WWE Universe is the ultimate litmus test. I'll be honest, you haven't convinced me. Don't fret, you can flip my opinion. I won't be your advocate. What I need for you, from you, for that to happen is a consistency in captivating the audience. I don't think you have that yet. You can bet I'll prove you wrong. Don't get bitter when this show you run becomes mine. Hey, I hope at least you'll keep me as a partner. Yo, I tried so already for you. Normal match? Normal enough, sure. I was just told I'm not doing enough. How's that? Pretty decent trajectory you got going on, I should think. Apparently I have to do more. Something special to captivate the WWE Universe. Like what? Hmm. Let me talk to the WWE Universe. Match has been set, man. I can't do this without higher approval. This won't take long, and I've got something to say. Well, alright. Listen, this is a one-time thing, okay? Only on account of our mutual rapport. Each of the universe is dying to know what's going on. Mm. 
loud and proud. Not feeling the love for that superstar. sums it up. Well, everyone here definitely got the message. Don't go anywhere because we have... Here we go. Got my level 3 fan favorite. Let's go. Getting the buff, which will take effect in the week's promo. The opponent's points you've earned quickly making promo slick. sick. The hell's wrong with you? What? The promo went over well. Yeah, pretty good promo. Vince is pissed off. Something's fierce. You got me some deep trouble, man. Uh, some... I felt it was necessary. I only did what I had to. Same here. Vince puts you in a 2-on-1 handicap match tonight. Come back when ready. And you better hurry, too. I'd wish you good luck if it wasn't so steamed. If I wasn't so steamed. We'll say this, though. You're going to need a heap ton of it. Alright, so we got this handicap match against the Usos. The Usos. They on that day one ish. I'm on that beach face in ish. Get off my apron, Jay. Well, what do you think you're doing? Get it in under the wire. Good. I don't want to see a count out. Not tonight. Oh man, what a hit. Knocks right <laughs> off the apron. Uh, eat defeat. Might have just their face. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough? There's the pin. Ken is upon a kick out. Ooh. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. I'm pinning him. He's, he's pinned. Ref count, you damn it. Can't like his chances right now. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Looking for the finish. Face buster. Man, that was vicious. See you, Jimmy. And wow. And what a reversal from Jey Uso. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Momentum clearly in his corner. A oh, face breaker. That didn't look good. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Here he goes for the win. And he delivers a brutal DDT. Jimmy Uso tags in. I think 
he might have slipped a little too. He has him right where he wants him. Down with a face buster. Game set match. This one is and that's over. the way you so play the game. Down. This could be it. Eking out a win. Ah. No, that was quite a victory. I think I'm ready for three on one. Don't tempt me. Can't deny you pro the props for pulling that off like that. Good job, all things considered. You didn't think you can get away with last week's noise without talking to Renee, did you? She wouldn't be the best reporter, I know, if she didn't hunt me down. <laughs> Well, you bet you've been hunted, so get on over to her. Pretty little big victory in that surprise 2 on 1 handicap match last week. How do you feel? They're on the move. It's like this those suits backstage sitting behind their quaint and meticulously organized desks haven't got a clue. They don't know what kind of superstar power I bring to the ring. Oh, and they might see the grit, the glitz, the flair, but unlike my fans, they don't see the pumping heart of it all. I need to jumpstart the analytical portions of their brain. First, with my words, then unfairly, by the way, with my body. So I love how I've gone from, like, authority lackey on Raw to, like, outcast on Raw to, to like, the, the face on SmackDown. Like, what? Gonna be real with you. Be real. Be real real. I can take it. Your match was pulled tonight. Oh. What? Why? Phew. Put me in a tough spot here. WWE Universe is loving you, Hotshot. And management too? As if. Safe to say they want your head on a, on a pike. On a say spike. Medieval. Just aside, management is bothered that you're, ta that you're talking about them so negatively. No one likes being cast in that kind of light. Unless they're a heel. So what's the action here? Do me and yourself a favor and tone it down. Sorry, man. Be seeing you next week.